Hello there, welcome back to Tropico, where we now will, well, we're more or less an advocate for world peace, judging by the fact that we have to unite the world. China and the Middle East have given us a couple of missions that we will be aiming at fulfilling. The people don't really like me right now, and frankly so, I guess I have that coming. But uh, we'll most likely be able to solve that, I would presume, just build a couple of houses and then everyone will be happy, I hope. And also we have food issues. I guess I should go ahead here and speed the building, speed up the buildings, up the building of said buildings to, well, help the situation out. So. Those poor helpless animals cramped away in the new factory farm. This is an atrocity. Hey, El Presidente, animals are people too. You should release them into the wild. Yes, I know they're tasty. But if you fancy a steak, you should hunt it down like nature intended. No, I'm a coward, so I won't do that, unfortunately. But at least now we have some extra food, which should be helpful, I would at least presume. Uh, we're going to, I think, quick build the... Why did I quick build the customer's office? That's probably the least useful building right now, to be perfectly honest. Of course, I can do this one. Which will generate some space bank account money. And we'll go ahead here and quick build an embassy. Some comrades from abroad have expressed their desire to join our prosperous community. We just have to bail them out of the capitalist prisons and cover their travel expenses. Pay for immigrants. Some comrades from abroad. Well, I guess that's actually if I want to have people, we'll get the people up and running. I need 900 of them after all. That is probably one way of doing that. But I also know that I do need apartments. So we're going to build some of these to hopefully get the population that we need and require to pull off the mission. As I said, I think I'm going to destroy this construction office. We're probably going to destroy these houses as well. Put some proper housing there. And once we actually get the modern housing, we'll probably go ahead and upgrade every single apartment and everything. Because I'm pretty sure you can have more family members there or more people stuck into... Well, Leave smaller areas. Hoping to change the fate of the world. Leave it tropical. Fighting for peace and prosperity in the face of Armageddon. Hmm. But you know it won't work, Presidente. Ideas can't really change the world. Great men can. Men like Neon Kane, who you brutally murdered. They say it will be a reality. I will not rest until your small island is obliterated. Let the world see how you build that tropical dream of yours in the face of my commandos storming the palace. Well, I guess we need to uh, protect ourselves with tons of weaponry and more than infantry. Again, people don't really like me. I guess this is a combination of, uh, well, my building projects to some degree. The cathedral is already almost filled up, which is not good at all. Yeah, I definitely need to make these things high priority. Enemy forces invading the island. They have one tank squad. Uh, I think if we join up, we might be able to beat this, but it could very well end up badly. We will fight you in the streets and on the beach. We will well, at least we're killing off the tank squad, so that's fine. I think we actually have the advantage here. Yeah. We might be able to pull off a victory without actually losing anything. Yeah, it looks like that will actually be the case. Good. Very good. Waste treatment plant. There's not actually much pollution in the living area, so I don't care about that thing. Uh, metro stations could definitely be useful. So there we build one. We're going to place another one. Here, I think. As I said, I'll probably get rid of that construction office and build some regular housing there. Place one there because there's room for it. And place one in the tourist area, which should, again, make things a little bit easier. There we go. Then we have, well, everything that we want to build for the moment. Military personnel is at least getting uh, slowly but surely done. Population will grow slowly but surely too, it's just a matter of having enough jobs and things like that. What does it require? This building is not producing. 
from corn. Oh, I see. I actually need corn to make that work. So we need more corn plantations then. It's kind of bad I didn't notice. I should probably fix the road here before I did anything. Just going to have to go with the setup. It's not the best, but it will at least bring in some uh, extra food. And potentially I can also build some uh, other, well, farms in the area too, if necessary. Build this this way. Yeah, I'll probably have to. We'll go with that. Again, it's not the best way of solving my issues, but it's better than doing nothing. And it'll go... It'll hurt my, uh, I think, my uh, tourism a little bit, but I can live with that. Hmm. 21 new citizens, too. Good. Very good. Hmm. So, what else do I need? To a terminal plant potentially could be useful, especially if I end up going for a pharmaceutical factory. It just needs power, so it's not a horrible idea to just build these things. It could actually work out really in my favor, especially once I get the uh, if I decide to get the uh, if I decide to get the uh, the good. Your terminal power stations up and running. I have to see how well this thing actually does first, but testing it should probably be a fun experience to some degree. It might also screw me up pretty badly, but we'll figure it out. And we also have enough military now to uh, complete the Middle East mission. Of course, I support your cause, President. I want 80 tourists on the island at the same time. We're almost there. I just need to upgrade, well, tourism a little bit. Now that the US has well, I might as well just invite Russia. We'll get some college uh, educated the workers, Russian I guess. Are very pleased with your joint work. We'll take 6,000. No, I should have taken the apartments. What am I even thinking? Could have just upgraded them later, once we get the tech for that. But I'm stupid, so it doesn't really matter. As you can see here, I just took uh, one-fourth of, uh, of the offer. I'm I'm not a smart man, but I think it's time to move that to the construction office. I'm going to place that right here. Let's see, the volcano is there too, so I'll probably place the geothermal power station thing is over here as well. I have 180 tourists on the island at the same time. It is it actually means that I need to do an upgrade to my tourist. Visa, all less. He's most of the. Oh. Oh, I actually completed that. Funnily enough, I didn't actually need to do anything. The tourist paradise I built last time solved it for me. Hmm. I'll upgrade this thing though, so it doesn't actually cause too much trouble for me. Huh. Should probably build an oil well too, just to get some natural oil. The European Union is bogged. Three TV stations. That should actually a be. A number of Russian oligarchs have arrived in. Trouble. No, I'm not going to banish any. Uh, any uh, crime lords. I have seen some wild banquets, old chap. Two hydroponic farms. Well, I guess that is actually not a bad idea. I have no idea how these things actually work, though. So we're going to figure that out as well. If they do give more uh, crops than the regular farms, then we're going to most likely go all hydroponic. We'll see. Anyways, we have a ton of building projects that are going on now. And we are invaded again. President, Tropicans await election yes, next year. we're going to make another election. I'm pretty sure we'll beat them this time too. They actually managed to destroy Guard Tower this time, due to thanks, I think. I might have to go get a tank squad of my own. But I should be fine. Anyways, what do the people require? Food! Food is the biggest issue here. 
that and crime safety. So building a police station and also some food building should be more than enough. Or, yeah, it, it should be more than enough in theory. Let's see here. Where's that? Am I stupid? There it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm stupid. I just, uh, I couldn't figure out for the, uh, for the love of me, where the police station actually was. So we're going to build one there, and we're going to build another one right here, I think. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to quick fill both of them. Should get crime safety up quite a bit. That will, of course, help. And I think we'll also, while we're at it, build a supermarket, if I can face it all. Yeah, I can actually make that have room for it there. I'll get rid of these three houses also, I think, and build a proper office. Which should get also give me more. Well, it's all right. Uh, again, I think we'll go with everything in the center here. It seems to be the best idea. It'll probably be uh, the one that's most helpful, anyways. Did we beat back the invasion? Yes, we did. So that is quite wonderful. Anyways, people do have actually started to like me a little bit more now, thanks to I guess the police stations. Oh, I, uh, the metros are actually outside of the electrical uh, grid, so I need to fix that too. And I think we might have to resort to fraud here, potentially. We'll have to see. I do have quite a bit of money in these two, at least, so that's that's good. Let's see, and let's get the electrical grid up and running. I'm going to steal a farm spot. Yeah, that actually gives just enough. Which is good. And I guess I'll quick build this thing once I get enough money. Again, to just boost the uh, food quality a little bit. Neighborhood Watch. That could actually be useful for these things. Just to have a couple of houses that I can then upgrade Neighborhood Watch to. Which should help safety at least. And let's face it, it's cheap. Not a horrible idea. There we go. Anything else I can do here that would potentially be useful? We have a ton of money, so I guess building that supermarket now can be a good idea. Just see what it actually does. Wow. I'll press action figures. Well, I don't need those. <laughs> I don't think. So, how are we doing now in terms of support? Crime safety has gone up quite a bit, food is still a little bit low. Housing is pretty damn high, although we have a ton of homeless people, which is not good. Have an opportunity to influence the I guess we'll not be cheating this time. But I definitely need to get the housing up and running, so I guess what we'll actually do is use this entire area as a housing uh, area, more or less. And the election results are in. I'm one, at 53% of votes, not, not bad, but not great either. We're going to get rid of the, these three houses here. And the reason that is fairly simple, it will make things a lot easier once I actually start planning out what I want to do. I'll probably place an office right here if I end up building a ton of houses in the area. It seems to be uh, it seems to be the best idea. So let us first and foremost get that office up and running. And we can potentially place a clinic on the well inner side here to some degree. Just go ahead and do that. This thing here will be demolished. And I should probably build a couple more of those. Good day. Filter Rich Crime Lord. We have the third crime lords. Well that could make things really interesting in the long run, I guess. Anyways, let's get that road up and running again. And we are going to build some apartments. As many as we can afford at this time. This should again, the office here should actually create quite a bit of money since it's more or less surrounded by people. At least that's what I'm hoping. We'll see. Build some more apartments. There we go. Tons of them. How's that pharmaceutical company doing? 
Your lackey Penulti won't set me a bouquet. There is even a little <laughs> card saying, better luck next time. With three typos. <laughs> I may be allergic to pollen, but I am even more allergic to idiots. Uh, I was enjoying playing cat and mouse with you until now, but it, this time we're going to hit it with all I have. So larger invasion forces will start to come around here. Well, I guess the uh, hilarious factor is that this thing uh, does actually earn a little bit of money, which is good. I have no idea how much pollution, I probably have to check that later. But with the larger forces, I guess getting an aircraft carrier could potentially be useful, and of course building an army base of three. So we're going to save money for that. With the current housing project here too, we shouldn't have any issues with, uh, with the homelessness. At least it will be less of an issue. Factory, far factory farms are being built, so that will solve itself pretty damn quickly. And other than that, I think we are perfectly fine, I would assume. That is quite the big army. This could actually hurt quite a bit. Hopefully we can kill them off before that happens, though. I might be in severe trouble here. No, I think we might win this. We do still have the upper hand. And troops terms of shared, well, troop numbers, but I could probably get in trouble here, so we're going to upgrade the military forces in these three barracks, first and foremost. We're going to build another barrack, I think, and we're also going to rebuild the towers that was mercilessly destroyed by the Mrs. forces, which is a little bit annoying, but again, I'm kind of happy that they're aiming for my guard towers rather than everything else. The EU seems to be... Invite the EU to my embassy. So I'll have to create a new embassy just for them. I guess I'm fine. Secret police. Sure, I can do that. Can live with that. So we'll go with that. One as per se, and... Hola, listeners! Let me tell you a secret. In an attempt to boost the domestic sunglasses industry, El Presidente has approved the launch of a new top secret agency. Shh, don't tell anyone. No, you better not tell anyone, because if you do, then El Presidente will come after you. Well, to some degree that's probably true. Anyways, uh, I don't like the fact that we were so hopelessly outnumbered, and also the fact that things are building so slowly means that it'll take a while before everything is, again, up and running. So I guess another construction office down by the harbor is probably a good idea, if I can just find a place to actually put it. I guess we'll put it here and create a road like this. Which is funny because these two roads can't actually join, can I? No. So we'll quick build that. And now it's time for aircraft carrying. I have no idea how, what this thing will actually do, but it'll probably, hopefully, murder every single one of my foes. And hopefully not me, which is a possibility. We'll see. But uh, we... The only real problem I have right now is that we might have too many building projects up and running, and as a result of that, we are, well, to some degree in a troublesome spot. We'll, but we'll just have to wait and see, really. Making the three TV stations shouldn't actually be an issue. All I re really need in that, uh, in that scene is just money and, of course, power. So I guess we'll save for those termo, uh, termo power plants. Whatever you want to call them. Uh, no, we'll not fire at will. Oh, can I have smart bombs? Yeah, we're going to build... No, we're going to buy smart bombs as soon as we can. Don't really want them to bomb us, <laughs> so to speak. That would be a horrible idea, so we have smart bombs for our aircraft carrier. And the office is up and running, and it's already making quite a bit of money. We are going to make you rich. You're on your wildest dreams. So yeah, once these apartments are done, this thing is probably going to make even more money. Which of course is wonderful. Wonder about. Most tempted to tear down the Catholic mission that's right here, and... Uh, 
build an office. I believe they use about the same amount of space. Let's take a quick look here. Yeah, they use exactly the same amount of space. So tearing this thing down and replacing it with a uh, office is probably not a horrible idea. And we're going to do that. Money. We need money if we are to succeed. Middle East sends me money. That is... Uh, thank you, Middle East and help us. And we are attacked again. For six units this time. At least I have jets. They did just do a loop. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it just did a loop. But those tanks are at least done for, and we are pretty damn effective now. Although we did lose that, uh, we did lose one guard tower. But we're going to just rebuild that. Anyways, this actually turned out quite good. So I think still need, still think we need more forces in uh, in the beach area. Houses are being built, everyone is happy. I don't see any problems there at all. We'll probably cause a power shortage. So yeah, we definitely need to build that geothermal uh, plant. Geothermal plant. Better effectiveness due to nearby volcano. Good to know. We're going to place that there. And we're going to place another one right next to it. And we're going to quick build one of them. And hopefully that will give us uh, the, well, power we need. Is it hot in here, or is it the new geothermal plant on the island? Neither, dear listeners. It's just the man of my dreams who will walk hmm. right through the door any minute now. Dream man, if you're oh. listening, get your cute butt off Produced fuel consumption. Well, I guess it'll have to wait a month or two before this thing actually starts working. Uh, but we're out of time, unfortunately. I didn't actually pay attention, which is a little bit bad. But uh, we'll have to do the TV stations and the population demands next time, I guess. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, I hope. But uh, we'll continue our quest then. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like. And hopefully, I'll see you around next time. Bye.